guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, welcome. My name is Madison and I'm the creator of This Faithful Home. On today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use these four simple ingredients to make your very own heating pad with rice that you can pop in the microwave and reuse. So the ingredients to that, ingredients? Supplies. So the supplies you are going to need are the most important things you are going to need a piece of material. I pulled this out of my fabric stash and actually what's really cool about this piece of fabric specifically is that it's from my grandma from her stash when she sewed. She gave me like a big bin of fabric and so I think it's like really special that I'm going to be using fabric that she gave me. And then you are going to need rice. I suggest using jasmine rice because when you heat it up, it creates like a good aroma to it. I wouldn't use brown rice because it, it smells really like dense and I don't know, very like earthy tone kind of scent to it. So jasmine rice will give you like a nice fresh scent to the rice. And then two things that are optional but that I'm going to be showing you are lavender essential oils from Young Living as well as I got the brand Kate Naturals. I got it on Amazon. It was cheap. Um, it's organic lavender flowers and it's dried lavender that I'm going to mix into the rice. That way when you heat the rice heating pads up in the microwave between the rice flour and the Young Living essential oils to create like a calming and natural ambiance to your heating pad for whatever you're using. It's very therapeutic and has nice aromatherapy to it. And so I think these will be a great addition to it, but you don't have to use these two if you're making this heating pad, but they are nice to add. Before we cut any of the material, if you are going to be adding essential oils, you wanna make sure to mix that in with the rice first and let it dry. I am going to actually take this reusable bag that the rice comes in and drop the essential oil straight into it and kind of shake it up. And then I will blend the lavender in it and kind of put it to the side while we sew up the beginning stages of the bag. I have about two cups of rice in this bag, so I'm gonna use two thirds of a cup of lavender and blend it in. You can kind of play around with how much lavender you put in if you choose to do so. There's not like a specific ratio that you have to follow. It's kind of whatever you feel like, and I really like lavender, so I'm gonna put about two thirds of a cup in for two cups of rice. Now that we have the rice sitting aside with the essential oils and the dried lavender, I'm going to take our material and just find like a good section of it and just do a light ironing. That way it's nice and even when we cut it and it'll make it a lot easier for you when we go to sew the material. Now bringing our iron material back over to the table, I have grabbed my cutting mat my rotary blade and my big ruler and I'm going to cut this into a rectangle for us to sew. The great part about this project is there is no set pattern that you have to follow. You can make your heating pad as big or as small as you want to just based off how much material and rice you have. For today I'm going to be making a three sectioned rice pad so it's going to be like a long skinny rectangle and I will take you through that process. I chose to cut my material 12 inches wide by 15 inches long. First thing you want to do is fold it in half right sides together. Go back to your iron and press down this seam. It'll help you for sewing. So now that we have our material cut, there are going to be several ways that you want to sew it. Uh, you want to make sure that you keep an opening in the wrong side of the fabric. That way you can flip it under and stuff it. If you're a beginner, I would suggest you start on the long end and you sew this length and all the way down to the end and stop and then leave about a two inch gap and go from here on the other direction and leave your opening in the middle that way it's easy to flip I 
let's go ahead and cut our loose strings and we'll flip this right side out. So here's what our heating pad is looking like so far with the opening that we have left for the rice to go in. And then I'm actually going to be taking this project one step further and sectioning off the rice in this pad. So I'm going to be filling it and then st stitching a seam down the middle so that this rice in here holds true to its area. And I'm gonna be doing that to that three sections, but you can skip that step if you are a beginner. Go ahead and find the opening of your hole and grab a funnel and we can begin filling this bag with rice. Another easy tip for you if you are like me and misplaced your funnel, aka you don't have one, is take a piece of paper and some scotch tape and you can roll up your own funnel and tape it and use it that way and then just crumple up and throw away the paper after. All right, we have our makeshift funnel, our rice, and our bag, so let's go ahead and start filling. I'm gonna be smart and use a scoop because I know I'll make a mess if I don't. Let's be honest, I probably will make a mess even if I use that. So we're gonna preface this by saying, I probably will make a mess. And if I don't, I will be really proud of myself. What'd I tell you guys, I already made a mess. Uh, whatever. Now remember, I am going to be sectioning this off into three sections. That's why I'm checking every so often to make sure that each section is gonna have enough rice, but if you're filling up the whole thing, just go ahead and fill it until it's almost full and we'll continue on with the next step that you need to do in a little bit. Okay, I am coming to a stopping point because I have this about a third of the way full. You can't really tell, but I have marked um, with the iron where I want to sew each seam. So I'm gonna take this back to the sewing machine and carefully holding this under the sewing machine, pushing back all the rice, sew a stitch down the middle in, well, down the third, across of the way, and that will hold this rice into this section. Now we have this section here, you can see it is filled with rice, but it is not gonna go anywhere into these other sections, but that's why I had you make the hole in the middle, so that way you can still load into the two sections if you choose to. If not, that's okay. This will be just as great filled the entire way. I just chose to do it a little bit fancier and section it off. Now with this second section, I'm going to be filling the other side and then the last one I will fill is the middle. That way I can still fit rice into the middle after I sew off this section. Okay, we have each of the two sides filled, so now we just need to fill the middle and then we will finish off the seam. How graceful do you think I can be at pouring this into the funnel in here without using the measuring cup? Comment down below if you think I can do it or if you think I can't. Because let's be honest, I'm not too optimistic with myself here, but that's okay. Mm. What you can't see on the other side of this bag is all the rice that I've already spilled. That was not a good idea. That was, that was a poor decision on my part. Oh well. We're gonna try it again though. Okay, second time is better. I'm throwing rice everywhere, oh well. So now that we have everything packed, you can see all the rice pushed down to the bottom leaves us a little bit of wiggle room with our material. What I want you to do is sew a top stitch across the entire side. That way you're gonna hold in your material secured. Also, you are going to enclose the opening that you had because your material should be folded in and now you're gonna sew a nice casing on top.
All right, guys, there you have it. And super easy DIY rice heating pad. All that's left to do is to pop this bad boy in the microwave for like 30 to 60 seconds. And then you can use it as a nice aromatherapy to heat your shoulder. You can put it across your neck while you're working on your computer. I'm gonna use it on my hip because I'm, that's where I'm having a little bit of problem right now. And this was your easy DIY rice heating pad. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you are going to try out this heating pad as well. And as always, if you guys are new to my channel, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button so that you feel welcomed into this faithful home with me. I am so excited for you guys to continue joining in with my videos that I post every Wednesday and Saturday at 3 p.m. So make sure you check back for more. Until then, bye guys!